to the Normandy. And to falling in love with the ship's captain. What are you guys doing over here? Looking at this poor excuse of an apartment, that's what. What's wrong with it? What would you do if another one of your clones broke in here, right? Eh? Offer them a cup of tea? Ah, there are too many windows, and they're, they're too big. Makes it easy for someone to track your movement. But it's got potential. Be easy to set up a defensible position over there. I'd extend the wall out. Prevent someone sticking you in the back. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, good idea. Mmm. Wish I could have done that back in the day on Omega. Why don't you two relax and enjoy the party? The apartment's wow. fine. Fine is good for someone else, not the love of my life. And I, I want to know you're safe. Suppose it isn't your clone. It's Liara's clone that comes after you. Wow. Or Joker's. Then you and all your clones can have a sodding love fest. I think I'm gonna puke. All right, have fun. Shepard, I know I don't say this enough, but I love your hair. <laughs> and I'm pretty damn partial to the rest of you, too. Microfilament's the answer. You think? Then the better. Tough to spot. Yeah, a 5x5 five five grid across the glass should do the trick. All right, Garrus, I gotta know. What are you doing? Hmm, oh, uh, nothing. Just, uh, admiring the polish on this glass. Good, don't tell her. She won't understand. Try me. Oh, it's just, well, one man's decorative glass wall fixture is another man's explosive glass wall fixture. Explosive? Microfilaments, Shepard. Tiny strips of explosives laid across the glass in a grid. It's your first line of defense. When an intruder enters, hit the switch and boom! They're shredded to pieces. Weaponized war fixtures, Shepard. Wave of the future in home defense. Uh-huh. Shepard. Sweeney. Love of my life. Indulge your crazy boyfriend. I need to know you're safe. <laughs> if it'll make you feel better, honey. Oh, don't get a room. God knows this place has enough of them. I've got a blue wire here, a red one, a yellow one, and one that looks like vomit. Describe the vomit one. Purplish, like after too many shots of wrinkle. Yeah, that's the one you want. Cross it with the blue one, and you're good. <laughs> Won't be saying the same for the fool who stumbles into this. What are you up to now, Zaid? Next time another clone of yours tries stealing your life, we'll have a nice little surprise rigged for them. Isn't that right, Garrus? Spare no expense for my honey. So, in walks your clone, takes a look around, sees this great hot tub, and says to themselves, Hey, I fancy a dip. Big mistake. Huge. The minute they put so much as a toe in the water, a timer starts counting down. To what? I'm a fucking getter. 30 seconds later, this baby heats right up. And then what? You ever swim a few laps on the surface of the sun? No. Well, your clone will be. <laughs> That'll teach him. But what if I want to use the hot tub? Covered that. It's key to your DNA. But a clone would have the same DNA as me. God damned clone. So, Garris, scratch the hot tub. I've got a few ideas about that coffee maker downstairs, though. <laughs> yes. Morning, Shepard. So, on the off chance you accidentally trigger an alarm you didn't know you had and you hear a timer start counting down, then remember the code I heart Garrus. Punch it into the keypad, preferably before the timer goes off. If you don't, well, blame Zaid and run like hell. Did we, uh, break anything last night? I don't suppose you need anything around here. Calibrated. <laughs> yeah, 
Okay, maybe I should just stop saying that word, but only if Liara stops saying, By the goddess. Good thing this place has extra bathrooms. Miranda takes forever to do her hair. You'd think with her jeans, she wouldn't need to. <laughs>